Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today we're going to be talking about a midnight ride. Not the famous ride of Paul Revere, actually, far from Massachusetts, we will be talking about a midnight ride in Virginia, and that is the midnight ride of Jack Jewett. I believe his name is pronounced Jewett, I've only read it, I have never heard it pronounced, but his real name was John Jewett Jr., but he was better known by everyone as Jack Jewett, presumably because his father was John. So, Jack Jewett finds himself sleeping outside a tavern in central Virginia. And he happens to be in his uniform. All of a sudden, he's awoken by the sound of horses. So, he goes to investigate what's going on, and he realizes it's the British. Fortunately, he was smart enough to deduce that this was just after the British invaded Virginia and captured the capital of Richmond. So Governor Thomas Jefferson and the Virginia Assembly had gone further inland to Charlottesville, about, uh, which is about two miles from Monticello, where Thomas Jefferson House was and still is. Uh, so Jouette realizes they're taking the main road out, and he figures out, oh, they're going to capture the government. So, the true patriot that he was, Jewett gets on his horse, and he rides the 40 or so miles out to Charlottesville, uh, realizing that Virginia, uh, I'm sorry, the British were taking the main route. He had to go through the, le the unfinished back roads and pathways that fortunately, being from the area, he knew. He makes it to Monticello before the Redcoats get there, and arrives at Thomas Jefferson's mansion a about 4.30 in the morning, and he warns the governor and, and several of the uh, Virginia assemblymen were staying with Jefferson, and he fortunately is able to evacuate just before the British arrive. Um, then Jouette rides over to uh, Charlottesville, where he goes to his father's tavern, uh, which was known as the Swan Tavern. Now, I've said uh, in other videos, taverns at the time, yeah, they were bars where you can drink and maybe get a small bite to eat, but they also generally worked as inns so people could spend the night there. And as such, in the temporary capital, most of the Virginia Assembly was staying there. It just so happens to have been at John, Jack Jewett's father's ha uh, tavern. So he goes in and says, hey, everyone, get out of here. And they're like, oh, okay. And and they go, and most of them escape. A few are taken uh, prisoner, but most of them are able to get out just in time because the British are showing up as he's telling everyone this. Um, and Jouett notices uh, there's a General Edward Stevens, who I don't know a ton about. I should do more research on him. Uh, I believe he was a general in the uh, uh, Virginia militia, not the Continental Army. I might be mistaken about that, though, but that's my impression. Um... But anyway, Stevens was, had been wounded in battle, and he was recovering. So Jouette decides to help him escape, and he's hurt, so they're moving pretty slow. And then all of a sudden, a few of the Redcoats see him, and they're like, Oh, there you are, stop. So Jouett thinks, I'm in uniform, this older man is not, and he's hurt. Now, this, is this handful of Redcoats, if I run away, are they just going to take him prisoner and let me go? Or are they going to chase the man in uniform? There's a risk, and uh, I, we don't know if Jouette decided on his own to just take off or if he would talk to Stevens real quick, who said, yeah, go. But the decision was made that Jouette would fly away, and he was, fortunately, he was right, because the Redcoats did chase him and let Stevens limp his way to freedom. Uh, and Jouette, fortunately, was an expert rider who, again, knew the area and was able to escape. Uh for his service on his this midnight ride, he was rewarded with uh, two pistols from the Virginia Assembly and a, a sword, although it doesn't appear he ever actually got the sword, but, you know, sentiments there. <laughs> he also ended up being paid for his service with land, as was fairly common, uh, and most of his property was in Kentucky. And he would go on to receive... Uh, he would move on to that land and help become a leader in early Kentucky. And he actually was first elected back to the Virginia Assembly when Kentucky was still a part of Virginia. So he served in the Virginia Assembly uh, with 
certain delegates that he had previously saved. After that, when Kentucky statehood became uh, 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 an idea leading up to and into the first few years of Washington's presidency, as a leader of the area, Jouett participated in the drive towards statehood. And once Virginia, I'm sorry, once Kentucky became a state, Jouett actually became a an assemblyman for the state of Kentucky. And that's more or less where his story ends. Uh, he, you know, was a lower level assemblyman. He didn't really climb too high. And although, but although he did all these political things, his real claim to fame is the story of his midnight ride, which I just related to you. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, definitely hit like and uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't yet. If you have any questions or comments or another founder you'd like me to discuss, please leave that in the comments below. I'd be happy to talk more about that. As for now, I will see you tomorrow.